Hi, Gemini. It's Nan from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do the first of many weekly love readings. I'm using the um, Romance Angels. That's what it's called. I couldn't remember the name of that. Anyway, the Romance Angels cards. And um, so this is my first shot at like love readings, weekly readings, and uh, I'm kind of just doing the signs in order right now for that. Um, so, what are the messages for Gemini? The first week of September 2018. Can you believe it's September already? It's cooled right down here in my area. Like yesterday, it was boiling hot. I couldn't even hardly breathe. And today it's cool. I had to have socks on. So it's cool right down. So Gemini, they're ready. Look at that. I find when I start gabbing, then they're like jumping because probably want me to shut up. All right. It's been going pretty good. I've done two already, so we'll see. So this is your underlying energy. This, both sides, this, you know what, I've been saying that this is how you feel, this is how they feel, but it ends up saying also, like, what, I think this is um, kind of how you're feeling about the whole thing and what, the, you know, where your heart is. This is where your mind is, and, and this is the outcome. That's what we're going to call it. This is where your heart is. Okay. So. Your first card you have is pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags, Gemini. The signs are cautioning you. So, you know, red flags, warnings. Um, you're seeing behavior, maybe hearing behavior that is not in line and or in tune with how you live your life. What your values are and um you know you may not want to pursue it if if that's not the case you know um the one of the cards in line with your heart how you're feeling you want to flirt you know or someone wants to flirt with you extend your light hydrated energy to others And then on the other side, you have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This is what these um, red flags are about. See, you know, this is sort of more in um, in the past. I think there was some flirting going on. And, um, you know, why not? Uh, flirting uh, builds confidence, actually. Um, and... You know, uh, especially if it's harmless, it can build a lot of confidence in yourself and in others. It's it's wonderful to give others compliments and whatnot. But that's the thing. It's lighthearted, you know. But it says deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. So, you know, they're pretending. They're, they're not in it for what they're saying they're in it for you. Or there's something being hidden there. You know, to me, a false mask is you're not presenting your true self. You're not. You're pretending. You know, you're faking it to make it. So, and I think you're seeing the signs. You know, they probably started out as a real flirt and it's, and you were like, whoo, <laughs> whoo, <laughs> Uh, but I, I don't, you know, uh, I don't think that it's what you're interested. Like I said, it's not in line with, with what you believe in, you know, and who wants to be with a liar? Um, what's on your mind is trust, you know, and, and I think that's what you're doing right now. Um, um, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Uh, 
Um, I think this is trust in yourself. You know? I think this is trust in yourself. Uh, you know, here's Cupid behind this this woman's back. And, um, and the, the, the guy is kind of calm and Cupid down is saying, whoa, okay, like, don't be stabbing her with the, the love arrow yet, you know. Um, sometimes there's reasons why things are going on that we don't know about, you know. It seems to me like there's something you don't know about here. You might call someone on their stuff and you might say, you know, uh, you, you don't talk your walk or walk your talk. You might call them on it, you know, um, or you might just say, whatever, I'm not, I'm not giving that all my faith. Why should I? Um, the outcome is it's worth waiting for. You know, I don't know if it's this person. I think it's what you're waiting for. It's it's that that person that is in line or is willing to get in line, you know. And that's not a control thing. It's it's you want someone that has the same values as, as you. If they believe in um <laughs> like something very different and it's good to have different opinions but some things you don't waver on you know you don't waver on and that's why it's worth waiting for don't take every guy that girl that comes along flirting you know um it's it's i don't think it's in line with your heart what is is that you need to trust that it's coming and I think it could be someone around you already, actually. And and it's worth waiting for. It's like it has a divine um, blessing to it. It's it's um, it's almost like it's been written. So you just got to let it play out. Just let it happen. It's really hard for life to come to us. <laughs> we are the kind of in the kind of century now where we're running to get life, you know, running after life. And you don't need to. You don't need to. Just let it unfold. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Gemini. Um, and if you have, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't be afraid to comment either. I'm not, I, I'm kind of testing this out. So, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, also, please uh, click on my HUGAF challenge for this weekend for everyone. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, have a great week. Talk to you next week. Bye now.